Hi, I'm Kayla with CheapHumidors.com, and today we're going to discuss the five main types of humidifiers people use in their humidors. We have foam, crystal gel, beads, bovida, and electronic humidifiers. And today we're going to discuss the pros and cons of each one. The main type of humidifier that we see in cigar humidors is the traditional foam-based humidifier. And this utilizes a florist foam like this. And you refill this with either distilled water or activator solution. Uh, it is a one-way humidifier, so it will only release moisture. If you refill it with distilled water, you'll see a very large boost in humidity followed by a quick taper. If you use the activator solution, you'll see a more steady release over time. You need to refill these humidifiers every one to two weeks, depending on how large your humidor is. And you need to replace them every six to 12 months. The florist foam will end up losing its ability to absorb water over time. So you will see a decrease in functionality over that time. They come in all different shapes and sizes. This one is a travel humidifier, so it's for a basically 10 to 12 cigar humidor. And it doesn't mount, it just sits right in the humidor. The smaller round one is for about 75 cigars. And you can mount it magnetically to the lid of your humidor, or you can set it on the tray. They also come in these larger humidifiers. These are for up to 250 cigars. So again, you need to replace these every six to 12 months, but they are very cost effective. They are by far the cheapest method of humidification, but you do run the risk of mold growth over time because these create humid environments, which is great for your cigars, but it's also really great for mold. The activator solution will help prevent mold, but you still run that risk. Next, we have crystal gel humidifiers. You may choose to upgrade your humidifier to a crystal gel-based humidifier. These types of humidifiers use a crystal polymer that starts off as very small, hard crystals, and they'll expand when you humidify them. It'll end up looking something like this. These are a one-way humidifier, so they'll only release humidity. They won't absorb any excess humidity. They come in a vast variety of shapes and sizes. You have the traditional ones that mount to the lid of your humidor, and these will humidify up to about 250 cigars. You have the Zycar Drymastat tube, which will lay down in your humidor like this alongside your cigars and release humidity. Then you have the jar-based ones, which will sit at the bottom of your humidor without being mounted. They need to be refilled with only distilled water. You don't want to use activator solution for these. You need to refill them every two to four weeks, and they need to be replaced every one to two years. The great thing about these is it's super easy to tell when you need to refill them because the crystals will shrink. However, they are just a one-way humidifier, so you do run the risk of over-humidifying your humidor. Next, we have bead-based humidifiers. These types use a silica bead that will become clear when they're humidified. They're typically sold in bags. You can get them on our website in quarter pound or half pound bags. And then people choose to mount them in different ways. Uh, some people use nylon stockings, or some people will use a plastic dish. Some companies use them in mounted humidifiers like this. This one can mount to the lid of your humidor using Velcro. These types of humidifiers need to be refilled using distilled water only. You don't want to use activator solution. You need to refill them every two to four weeks, and they need to be replaced every three to six years. As the beads will absorb oils from the cigars, they'll lose their ability to absorb and release moisture. A lot of people love these because they're the two-way humidifiers. The only problem is that they do sometimes give off dust. But other than that, they're very cost effective because the upfront cost might be a little higher than a traditional foam humidifier, but they need to be replaced far less often. 
Next, we have Boveda packets. Boveda packets use salt compounds to maintain very accurate humidity levels. They come in 65, 69, 72, and 75 percent packets. You need about one packet per 25 cigar capacity. They are a two-way humidifier, so they will both release and absorb humidity. Once they re reach their set point, they will start absorbing that humidity. You can recharge them, usually every three months, or a lot of people choose to just replace them. One of the great things about Boveda packets is that they're very accurate, so you can maintain very accurate humidity levels. However, some people find them a bit expensive. They're about $4 per packet, but if you spend the time to recharge them, they can be very economical. And finally, we have electronic humidifiers. Electronic humidifiers are active humidifiers in that they only release humidity when it's needed. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes, as well as brands. We carry Hydra and Cigar Oasis. These types of humidifiers come with a refill cartridge that holds regular distilled water. They also have a built-in digital hygrometer. Once the humidity level in your humidor drops below their set point, they turn on their electric fan that will circulate humid air. They need to be refilled with distilled water about every month. The refill cartridges need to be replaced about every year. They're very user-friendly. Both of these models have a warning light that goes off when you need to refill your cartridge. The Hydra has an optional warning buzzer that will sound when you need to refill. However, they do use ribbon cables to plug in, so a lot of people will complain that they clutter up their humidor with those ribbon cables. However, they're very self-sufficient and easy to use. Each type of humidifier has its own pros and cons, and it's up to you to determine which of them meets your needs. You can find all of these products on our website. I'm Kayla with CheapHumidors.com.